Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a nice radical equation from Finnish math olympiads. We have square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus x equals cube root of x. And we're going to be solving for x values. So to be able to solve this problem I'm going to use substitution. Let's go ahead and set this square root of 1 plus x equal to a and the square root of, I mean the cube root of x equal to b. I want to use two variables because I want to come up with a system and then solve that system in two variables, okay? So this gives me the following. First, we have square root of 1 plus x equals a, which implies 1 plus x equals a squared. And the second, we have cube root of x equals b, which implies x equals b cubed. So the first system that I'm going to work on is this one. Let's go ahead and eliminate the x from these two equations. You can do that by subtraction or by replacing x with b cubed in the first equation. That gives us 1 plus b cubed equals a squared. Now this equation is not solvable right away because there are two variables and only one equation. But notice that when we name the square root of 1 plus x a, we got another expression or equation, which is what? Well, since we kind of replaced uh, square root of 1 plus x with a, and x is equal to b cubed, right? So we can kind of go ahead and write the following. Square root of, since the whole thing is a, we have the square root of 1 plus a equals b, right? If you forget about the x's and everything. And from here, by squaring both sides, we get 1 plus a equals b squared. Great. That's just another equation that we can use. So let's see how we can use these equations. Now we have another system and only a and b are involved. So now let's go ahead and subtract b cubed from this equation and we get a squared minus b cubed equals one. And from the other equation, we can go ahead and isolate a and write it as b squared minus one. And now we can go ahead and replace this a with b squared minus one here. That gives us b squared minus 1 squared minus b cubed equals 1. By expanding it, I'm, I'm going to show you an alternative too. b to the fourth minus 2b squared plus 1 minus b cubed equals 1. Now, if 1s did not cancel out, this would be a little harder. But in this case, we don't have to worry about it. But another alternative would basically be subtracting the 1 from both sides and then considering the fact that this becomes a sum of two cubes and this is a difference of two squares and you can definitely find a common factor from there. But that's not necessary because one cancels out, we are left with something a lot simpler. So let's go ahead and rewrite this equation and notice that we can factor out b squared. That gives us b squared minus b minus 2. Okay. Now from here we get the following solutions for b. b equals 0, this is a double root. And from the quadratic, we get, if you just go ahead and factor it or use the quadratic formula, however you want to do it, but it's factored as b minus 2 times b plus 1, right, by using the constant term of the trinomial. So from here we get, by setting this equal to 0, we get b equals 2 and b equals negative 1. Now, we kind of need to back substitute because we're looking for x. And the relationship between x and b, do you remember that? x is equal to b cubed. Great, so by cubing these values, we're going to be able to get x. So if b is 0, x is going to be 0. If b is 2, x is going to be 8. And if b is negative 1, x is going to be negative 1 as well. Now, we got three values, but are they all valid, right? We need to check because this is a radical equation. We did some transformations, maybe inadvertently squared both sides, so on and so forth. And we need to make sure our solution is actually check. Now if you replace x with 0, let's see what happens. On the left hand side we get square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 0 which is 1. Square root of 1 is equal to 1 and this becomes square root of 2. But that's not equal to the cube root of 0. So x equals 0 is not going to work. x equals 8. Square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 8. 1 plus 8 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. This is square root of 1 plus 3 which is equal to 2. And cube root of 8 is also 2, so x equals 8 works. This didn't, but x equals 8 did. 
Now, final value we're gonna check is x equals negative one. If you replace x with negative one, you're gonna get the square root of one plus the square root of one minus one, or one plus negative one. Is that equal to the square root of one plus zero, which is one, but unfortunately, that's not equal to the square root of, I mean, the cube root of negative one, because cube root of negative one is positive one. Therefore, x equals negative one didn't work, and we are left with a single solution, x equals eight. Does that make sense? Now, do you think are, uh, there are any complex solutions? I don't think so, but again, I could be wrong and correct me if I'm wrong. But they basic, that's basically it, and we got a single solution from here. And as you can see on this graph, these two only intersect at a single point, and that is at x equals eight, and Wolfram Alpha also verifies this solution. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.